Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a pretty funny slash special video. Today, uh, our amazing friends over at Flippin', um, they have done a couple videos with some of the footballers that are in FIFA Ultimate Team. So we're going to be reacting to those videos. We haven't watched them at all. Um, you guys love the reaction stuff on YouTube, so when it makes sense to do it, we do it. Um, and yeah, super excited for this video. We're going to be looking at uh, John Barnes, Cafu, and Jairzinho. I haven't watched any of these. I've seen them in my recommended. Um, I think this video has almost a, th a million views. I was about to say a thousand, a million views. Um, and so, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. And uh, I'm going to try my best to not do too many uh, stops because I know you guys like to watch the video too. Uh, and let's get into it. So this one is Jairzinho reacts to flipping comments. This is going to be good. The flipping comments are such an underrated place. If you are ever bored, just go onto the flipping comments. You are going to die watching and uh, reading some of them. Olá, pessoal. Tudo bem? Hoje eu vou reagir aos seus comentários no Futebim. Um abraço. Para quem não sabe, ele é uma lenda do Botafogo e herdou a camisa 7 do Garrincha aqui no Brasil. Ele é conhecido como Furacão de 70 por marcar. Scored in every game of the 1970 World Cup in Mexico. That's Copa crazy. Do mundo de 1970. That is insane. Tem um detalhe aí que eu marquei todos, eu marquei em todos os jogos e fui campeão. Dois parâmetros de muita eficiência, né? Que você já tivemos jogadores anterior que marcou gol em todos os jogos, mas não foi campeão. Eu wow! Um fez gol em todos os jogos e foi campeão. Oh man, he's the champ. Ajudei o Brasil Hell yeah. a ganhar. Definitivamente a tão cobiçada Júlio Jiménez. O que a própria CBF, a CBD, na época, melhor dizendo, a CBD, que era a CBD, ela botou em prática o que a seleção que ganhasse por três vezes a Copa do Mundo levaria a Júlio Jiménez definitivamente para o seu país, a sua residência. E o Brasil ganhou em 70. Oh, they got to keep the trophy. That's crazy. Because then they changed it to the. Um, ter sido única seleção no mundo a ganhar por três vezes a Copa do Mundo. E eu consegui ajudar o Brasil com os meus gols. Aqui ele é o jogador carregando Pelé naquela foto famosa. Esse é um dos gols que o Pelé fez. By the way, boys, this is. Euforia. Esse é um dos gols. This is like one of the most, I think this is one of the most historic photos in football ever. Like this photo is just amazing. Awesome. Esse é um dos gols que o Pelé fez. E a nossa euforia. There's the comment, 63 upvotes, there's the comment. Eu fui de encontro a ele, abracei ele. Nem senti o peso dele, carreguei ele nos meus braços. Nessa foto que ficou famosa no mundo todo. Yeah, this, that photo is so iconic. O Pelé está aqui dando soco no ar e eu estou carregando ele nos meus braços e aparece com muita evidência o número 7. Famoso. Maybe Ronaldo's idol was Jairzinho. No mundo todo. Qual que número é esse? Esse aqui foi contra a Itália. Esse aqui foi contra a Itália. Oh, yeah. Jairzinho on the score sheet. Well, Carlos Alberto. Wow. FIFA legend. 107,000 people were at that, that game they showed. Brazil 4, Czechoslovakia 1. O último jogo que o Brasil foi tricampeão do mundo também terminou 4 a 1. Interessante que o primeiro jogo foi 4 a 1 e o último jogo também foi 4 a 1. Em ambos os jogos eu fiz gol. Mas interessante que logo o primeiro jogo eu já fiz dois gols. E eu, os meus gols foram os gols que deram sempre, como eu já falei antes, duas chafrias nos adversários. Contra a Shaquille Lovac, que estava 2 a 1 no Brasil, eu fiz 3 a 1 e 4 a 1. Ele é como o Iceman. Ele puts the 1. game away, puts the game out of reach. Isso foram gols de muita eficiência, e repito outra vez, e desânimo nos adversários. O Pelé, ele é justamente tudo isso que nós temos de conhecimento e eu, mais ainda, por ter tido uh, a condição, o prazer, a felicidade de jogar ao lado dele e com ele. Como foi o jogo deles? Ele era alegre? O Pelé sempre foi um cara muito, muito alegre, 
e, e, e muito sensível também. Ele tinha um interessante nele que o comportamento dele era fantástico, que ele também fazia a leitura do posicionamento dos adversários e também ele, ele já se preparava para fazer os gols em cima de quem ele achava que tinha uma certa deficiência de tipo de, de marcação. Aí depende de cada um. Uns me chamam Jairzinho Furacão, outros me chamam Jairzinho, ou alguns me chamam Furacão Jay -Z. direto. Aí eu me chamo Jairzinho Furacão, me chamo Jairzinho, ou me chama Furacão. We're doing it wrong, boys. Ficou assim hoje. Jairzinho, Jairzinho. Desenvolvendo no, no Brasil e no mundo todo. Depende da pessoa, depende do gosto da pessoa. Mas a partir de qual momento assim apareceu? O Jairzinho Furacão apareceu. Na, na Copa do Mundo, em 1970, com José Geraldo de Almeida, o narrador de futebol, que, que sempre botava apelido certeiro nos jogadores. Pelé o Rei, Jairzinho Furacão. Mas com as minhas arrancadas, ele, ele dizia que eu parecia até um furacão, porque a minha camisa ficava <risos> tripulando aqui, ficava balançando, por ela ser larga, ela ficava balançando com os meus arranques. Aí ele, ele emocionado, é, já no primeiro jogo, contra a Cheque quando eu fiz um gol que eu peguei a bola da, na intermediária do Brasil e acabei dentro da intermediária da Cheque Aí ele falou que eu parecia até um furacão. Aí pegou, virou furacão e é furacão até hoje. Ai, very interesting. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see some of your public information listed on one of those websites? It's insane to see how much information can be leaked onto the internet. Data brokers are making a fortune, an absolute fortune, selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you. I get 20 calls a day to my phone. Uh, I get emails left, right, and center. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information, and Aura can submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your information if they are asked to, but they definitely make it super hard to do. So let Aura do the rest for you. That kind of rhymed. Pretty sweet. You can try Aura for two weeks free using my link down below. Just go to aura.com slash runthefootmarket, A-U-R-A dot com slash runthefootmarket. It supports the channel a ton. Aura also does so much to protect you and your family from online threats that you can't even see. You can browse the internet securely with a VPN on Aura. You can obtain antivirus protection. You can use the data broker removal service. As we mentioned, the VPN, your identity credit monitoring and credit look all secure with Aura. Even a password manager, you can see on other sites what passwords of yours may be even exposed. My favorite feature of it all is definitely the password manager. For me, it's super important to have my password to be super secure and Aura is perfect for that. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft, insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. Guys, that's aura.com slash run the foot market to start your two week free trial to have peace of mind on the internet. Get security, use a VPN, Get all your passwords checked with Aura today. Thanks to Aura for sponsoring this video, and we'll get back to the video now. We're going to watch the one Hello, hey. with John Hello, Barnes hey. now. Catch me if you can, because I'm the England man, and what you're looking at is the master plan. We ain't a hooligans. This ain't a football song. Three lions on my chest. I know. Listen, you never lose it. Okay. Very interesting with Jairzinho. Hi, I'm Jairzinho. John Barnes, and today I'm going to be reacting to your footbin comments. John Barnes is always an underrated icon every year and, and will probably stay like that until the end of his end of FIFA. I suppose the only thing that I think I'm underrated was, was my defending. So I don't think I'm underrated. I'm quite happy to be there. Um, my son, my young son, I've got a 12 year old son who's, he's actually sold me four times. I didn't know you could sell him, especially with <laughs> that, but he sold me four times to swap for some That's other people. That's funny. Um, but he's quite happy because something has come out now, actually. I don't know when this is going out, but something has come out now to make me seem better than I had. I don't know how some sort of Oh, he got um I've not played for 30 Foot years, birthday. I think it was foot birthday John Barnes. But was it foot birthday John Barnes? Let's see. I think it was foot birthday. That's so interesting. Yeah, it was probably foot birthday John Barnes. He was actually pretty expensive when he came out too. Super uh super usable. Very interesting.
Oh, this one is uh Oh, that's flipping comments, and we've got his no, ultimate team happy, cards. I'm he's got two videos. That. I don't think I'm underrated. Interesting. My FIFA, anyway. It says Watford icon. This is G Lewis thirty thirty. Um, yeah, people forget I play for Watford. People forget actually. Most of my, I would say, at least half of my England caps came when I was at Watford. The goal against Brazil was when I was at Watford, and that is why I suppose when I came to Liverpool, you know, my career took off on people, and I've been there for ten years longer than at Watford. But my some of my happiest and my best performances were for Watford. So. Glad to see that the Watford Posse are giving us a good mention. One man says that you signed for a fee of a set of tits. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, I was playing for a local team in Sudbury, Fudbury Court, and people forget that you know back then players didn't. If you're going to go to a club, there wasn't a transfer fee. It wasn't a professional club. It wasn't even a semi-professional club, so they were happy to get a kit. So you know, it's a great story that John Barnes turned out to be John Barnes, and when he, but Stanley Matthews would have been playing for a local team and went to Stoke for no money. So the whole idea of, you know, my team should have got a million pounds or 50,000 50, pounds or even a thousand pounds was never going to happen because that's not the way it was back then. So they were happy for the kit. So, yeah, that, they, they weren't hard done by it. Take it from me. Interesting. Who's better in their prime, Barnes or Mane? Oh. Well, it's difficult to, this is Con Strong Whitey, it's difficult. I never, ever compare players from different eras. What I say is that I was better when I played, he was better when he played because football's different. You know, it's fair. like saying Messi or Pele, because, you know, if you're allowed to tackle and kick and fight yeah. and break players, that's actually legs, a really good point. I wouldn't be used to that. And, and me playing now would be different. So I never ever compare uh, compare eras. Um, so and also he's playing as a right footed player on the left. So he, know, he doesn't go around and put crosses and he comes in and scores goals. So it's difficult. It's difficult to say. Uh, I know he's better than me now. Because I'm 59 years old. <laughs> and old. Uh, but back when I in my prime or his prime. He's still in his prime now, so give him time. James W. Gregson says, Barnes all day. Love Mane, though this guy was arguably Liverpool's best player ever. I wouldn't go that far when he got Dalglish and Rush and, 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 and people like that, Ian Callaghan. But, uh, you know, we do what we do. So, but thanks anyway, James, for that little comment. Kyle O'Malley, you're here because of the icon pack, aren't you? Is yeah. he around? Can you my son, as I said, my son sold me four times. I don't know, I don't know whether he had an icon pack and he sold me, but if you're not happy, you can... You can sell me. I don't know if that's what they do. But my son, my own son has sold me four times, so maybe you can get Haaland or Mbappe for me. No, his son has the full Should birthday. Be rated. He was incredible. This is from Fatty Poo. Um, once again, I'm very happy with the scores apart from the defending, so I don't know whether we can have a, a little vote or I don't it's know. It's interesting. He might, he must. People who play yeah, I wonder what he disagree. would want with defending. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch the other video in a second, too. I'm going to watch a couple more comments, defending. then I'm going to check out the other video because I want to see what he says about his score card. higher up. But I'm, 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 I'm happy with the rating. He can play anywhere from CM upwards. Um, that's P3, RDY, probably Purdy. The three looks like he's a backwards C. I suppose that's what it is. He can play anywhere from C CM center midfield upwards. I could play anywhere from CM backwards because my first four years in England, I played at a center back before. Wow, center back. back. Growing up in Jamaica. I didn't even club. know that. Center back no and you go out back, and so play wide. So yes, that's insane. Apart from goalkeeper, I would be able to play anywhere. Alex Seven. Fun fact, his nickname is Digger. Yeah. Uh, depending on how old you are, Digger Barnes was a character from Dallas in the 70s. And any player who was called Barnes was called Digger. So they had Bobby Barnes at Watford. Sorry, I'm from Watford. I'm John Barnes. Bobby Barnes from West Ham was called Digger at his club. Paul Barnes from Ipswich, he was also called Digger Barnes. So anybody called Barnes in the, who played in the 80s was called Digger Barnes. So yes. Interesting, my middle name is Charles Bryan, so I'm John Charles Bryan Barnes. So if you think of JCB, that's my initials, and that's a digger, if you know about tractors. And people think I'm called digger because of my initials JCB, but it's not, it's because of digger Barnes from Dallas. Should a five-star weak foot and 90 plus agility and balance? Yes, I, I agree with that. I don't agree, I don't agree with a five-star weak foot because, yes, I scored a lot of goals in my right foot because I had to, because playing on the left, you come in on your right foot, you gotta shoot, so I shot and scored some goals. But I'm not a two-footed player by any stretch of the imagination. So what does he have on uh, FIFA? I, I think, think he's got. A five -star I think he's got three-star uh, weak foot right like now. Andrew Butter could finesse top bins with both feet. Yeah, uh, yeah, done in dirty. Still a solid card. No, I'm happy with the card. Uh, I think I got a four-star from a weak foot, which I still think is probably. No, does he have four-star weak foot? I don't know what he has. Let me see. His foot birthday has five-star skills, four-star weak foot. No, maybe he does have. He's got three-star skills. That's what he's got. No, he is four-four. Damn, dude. Do one of these versions? No, he's 4-4. Four, four. Oh, let me see what he says about his uh, his card real quick. Let me see this one. 
these people haven't got a clue what they're talking about. Oh, he's got some different energy here. Hi, I'm John Barnes from Liverpool Football Club, and today I'm responding and reacting. Oh, let's to see, though. He's going to guess his off. card now. I've gone a little bit out of order here, but... Well, Darwin is very quick. I don't think I'm as quick as Darwin. I'm surprised he only got 89. So, um, but people probably forget. And I was running in mud. And big boots and heavy boots and terrible pitches. So I probably look quicker than I was. I think Darwin should be more than 89. So I'll be surprised if I'm more than Darwin. So I'll give myself 86. 90. I'm quicker than Darwin Nunes and I'm nearly 60 years old. I can't believe that. <laughs> I think that people probably forget. I probably looked a bit quicker. So to be honest with you, if you didn't tell me what Darwin Nunes was, I probably would have gone for 90 myself. But once Darwin got 89, I probably Darwin thought, is pretty fast. When Darwin gets so the top speed, Darwin's he's super fast. That's a good point. Mine may be right, but Darwin's is definitely wrong. Oh boy. 90 dribbling. Let's see what he says. Well, dribbling was my thing. I mean, most scores goals as well. Uh, and because my son will be able to tell you much more because my little son understands how the stats work. I don't really understand how it works. But if Mo gets 90 in dribbling, I will, I will probably give myself... Um, I'll be, let me say I'll be equal to Mo. I'll give myself a 90 it's as fair. well. fair. Although my son tells me that they're very kind to the older icon people. This is why I'm quicker than Darwin. So, But I'll be humble and give myself the same as Mo, 90. Ah, uh, he's close there. Oh, that's, that's dribbling. I took off shooting. So I saw that. 91. I'm just one better than Mo. But look, I suppose, once again, when I, when I was playing, the, the pitches were muddy, the players were trying to kick it, so, you know, it probably looked a bit better, whereas now you're not allowed to kick players, are they? So probably that's why Mo is like that. So I'm happy with it's 91. Great. It's actually insane to see all of the older players, like, talk about just how much more physical the game used to be. It's the same thing in basketball, too. That's what all the basketball players say, too. And then it's more fouls, all that stuff nowadays getting called more. Han has 91 shooting. He saw his shooting. Well, I, play, I think if I played in Mo's position, I would, get a, I would be able to get a higher shooting rating because then, of course, playing on the right, being left-footed, like Mo, I'll come in and shoot with my left foot. Whereas when I shot, generally speaking, I had to come in on my right foot. Yes, I shot with my left foot as well. So um, as much as I know I could shoot better than these stats would probably show, I, I was crossing the ball more than shooting. So for my shooting... Um, how much did Erling Haaland have? Did he just see it though? I thought he just saw it. 85. We're shooting. Oh, right. And I saw it and I forgot what it was. I must be getting old because I actually took it off and saw it by accident. And 87, I think I'll give myself. Did he have 91? 87. <laughs> Only because I remembered. Yeah. As I said, you know, I, I played on the left side so to come in on my right foot. So and my right foot isn't great as much as I think they kept me quite a high scoring with my right foot. But so I'm happy with 87. VVD with 91. I think it's better than they would, they, would, they would show. Very much like, I'm not sure what Mose is or Sadio Mane, because of course they're going forward, scoring lots of goals and playing well going forward. So it's probably neglected the amount of this defensive work that they did. And I'm sure mine would be as well, because from I was at Watford to Liverpool, I had to defend. Wingers had to defend. I mean, you know, once David Ginola and people started coming over, they don't defend. Wingers don't defend. But from I was young, my first responsibility Ginola. was defending. So I don't think they've been enough credit. Ginola influence. there. But my defending was very, very good. In fact, my first four years in England, when so I so he's going to be super disappointed with the defending so stat. So I'm sure that my my score isn't particularly high, possibly, but my defending was much better than my score would be. So I think the perception of my defending is not the reality. So for that, I would I would say that they've given me, not me. I, I would give myself a higher score than this. But I'm guessing that they would probably give me a, a, a 79, possibly. 79. Oh boy. 45. These people haven't got a clue what they're talking about. <laughs> 45 defending. I didn't have a lot of defending to do for Liverpool, obviously. But if you look at what I did for Watford, and of course I went into playing midfield, so I played as a midfield player. So my defending is much better than 45. I was probably, they probably thought I was so good going forward that I didn't, didn't defend. So I'm, I'm disappointed at that. I must have. I'm going to check out the Cafu. That was funny. All right, let's watch him at the Cafu one too. Cafu was making me laugh so much because Cafu in the like introduction for the World Cup was just smiling the whole ceremony. Everybody was just saying, W, what a legend. So let's check it out. He's going to be reacting to some comments. I know we've been going long with this video, so I'm not going to keep you here too long, but this has been super fun to do. And shout out to Footbin. Let's keep it going. Hola, eu sou o Cafu, e hoje eu vou reagir aos seus comentários aqui na Futebin. Ele jogou com o maior sorriso no rosto. E redefiniu o que é um lateral deve ser.
Olha, eu sempre gostei de jogar com sorriso no rosto porque eu sempre gostei de futebol. A maneira de revolucionar a maneira de jogar, principalmente nas laterais, aconteceu quando eu fui para o Roma. Nós jogávamos um esquema de três zagueiros e o treinador colocou tanto o Candelá de um lado como eu do outro. E aí, esquece, força, habilidade, raça. Então, eu jogava praticamente do meio para frente com a mesma facilidade de apoiar e defender. Então, nós, nós viramos ala no futebol e hoje o lateral vira uma das principais armas do futebol mundial. Aqui está uma divertida para todos vocês. Capu é apenas um apelido. Meu nome verdadeiro é Marcos. Meu nome verdadeiro é Marcos Evangelista de Moraes. E Capu vem de Cafuringa, um ex-jogador de Fluminense, ponta direita, que jogava muito. E quando eu cheguei no Itacoaxetuba, eles falaram que eu parecia com Cafuringa. Aí me apelidaram de Capu. Uau, wow, isso é realmente interessante. E virou Capu. E aí virou Capu pro resto da vida. Mas meu nome é Marcos. Curiosidade, ele é o único jogador na história a disputar três finais consecutivas de Copa do Mundo. Ah, gente, três finais consecutivas de Copa do That Mundo. That is actually é insane, né? man. A honra e o Three in a row he played it, man. O único jogador na história do futebol a disputar três finais de Copa do Mundo consecutivas, 94, 98 e 2002. Tendo a oportunidade de ganhar 94, 2002 e 98, nós somos vice-campeões. Então... É um feito que realmente, dificilmente, outra pessoa vai conseguir alcançar isso. Impossível não gostar de Cafu. Sempre alegre e digno. Um dos meus ídolos de infância. Bom, eu eu tô sempre feliz. Independente do, do que acontece dentro de campo, a felicidade está sempre explícita no, no meu rosto. A alegria de jogar futebol, o prazer de jogar futebol, a paixão de jogar futebol. Que legal de saber que eu sou um grande ídolo de infância. Espero que você não seja tão, tão velho assim, né? Porque senão eu vou me sentir um vovô. Um abraço. Engraçado, ele nunca quis ser zagueiro, mas o técnico Tele Santana, o melhor técnico da sua época no Brasil, trocou de cargo para, de cargo para a lateral direita. That's also very interesting. Não é que ele me trocou de cargo, gente. É que realmente eu sempre fui meia, atacante, gostava de jogar de atacante, eu gostava de, de fazer gol. Zagueiro não era muito minha praia, não. Mas é, uma exigência do, do São Paulo, porque o Zé Teodoro machucou o tornozelo, teve uma lesão muito grave e o Tele Santana me adaptou ali na lateral para alguns jogos e alguns treinamentos. Então, nessa que ele me adaptou, ele gostou muito da minha participação na lateral, porque eu tinha habilidade, tinha força, marcava e, ataca, e atacava com a mesma disposição. Ele falou, eu acho que você vai ser um grande lateral, vamos começar a treinar na lateral direita. I mean, that turned out all right. Transformei no lateral direito. Cafu é o melhor lateral de todos os tempos. Olha, gente, saiu ultimamente em uma, em uma revista né, que eu fui considerado um dos melhores laterais de todos os tempos. Eu fico muito feliz com isso. É mérito daquilo que eu venho fazendo no futebol, mérito do meu trabalho. Eu sempre trabalhei com muita dedicação, sempre joguei com muita dedicação, sou apaixonado por futebol. He's a, he's a very good speaker. His delivery is really, uh, really, um, really good. He delivers well. Fato aleatório. Cafu jogou pelo Zaragoza na temporada 94-95. É, realmente, quando eu cheguei no Saragossa, eu já cheguei na metade da temporada para lá. Então, dificilmente eu iria ser titular absoluto naquele time que já vinha jogando junto há muito tempo. Mas foi uma experiência fantástica jogar no, no, no Saragossa em 94, 95. Uma experiência que fez com que realmente eu soubesse o que era bom, como era bom jogar na Europa. E o pontapé inicial foi na minha gloriosa cidade de Saragossa, na Espanha. Deve ser bom saber que você é um jogador com que... Todos são comparados na sua posição. Lateral I wonder who else he considers to be ah, like really sick at right back. As pessoas se comparam com você quando está jogando principalmente na sua posição, né? Nós tivemos grandes ídolos no futebol mundial, grandes craques. E saber que as pessoas hoje estão se inspirando no, no Cafu é muito gratificante. Olha, merece a habilidade de cinco estrelas para o sombrero, né? O famoso chapéu no Nevid. Rapaz, essa jogada foi uma jogada fantástica. Foi no derby que aconteceu. Roma e Lazio, e o lá, Roma e Lazio, o bicho pega, viu? E eu tive a oportunidade de fazer essa jogada, de dar o triplo chapéu no Neves, quando foi dar o quarto no Simeone, ele acabou fazendo falta, mas foi uma das jogadas mais vistas, e é até hoje vista quando se fala que o Derby foi chapéu no Neves. O poder de chute dele é tão errado que deveria ser muito maior, não é? Mas o cara bateu tão forte na bola naquele gol contra a Fiorentina que é icônico. Esse gol contra a Fiorentina, a bola foi na gaveta, eu peguei certinho na bola. bola. Quando eu vi a bola saindo, que ela veio reta, eu falei, é só acertar onde tem que acertar, que com certeza ela vai em direção ao gol. Esse jogo eu tive a oportunidade de fazer dois gols, foi contra a Fiorentina, né? Foi a minha primeira vez que eu fiz dois gols no campeonato italiano. These guys, like Cafu, like, they are just so accomplished, man. It's, it's, it, they must 
have so many of these like crazy moments in their careers they remember ah mad it it, did like to me honestly it's it's shocking like how well he even remembers it because he's got to have so many highlights of his career but i guess they're all just so important you don't forget them right crazy o pelé me colocou na lista dos melhores jogadores vivos o brasil também teve tantos bons zagueiros teve não só teve como tem grandes e excelentes jogadores agora ser colocado numa lista pelo pelé isso é uma questão de honra, é, sabe, aquele prazer, você fala assim, poxa, o jogador do século, o melhor jogador de todos os tempos, o Pelé, te colocou na lista como um dos melhores jogadores do mundo, muito honrado com isso. Precisamos ver um herói ou um ícone de Totti na ficha. True, né? Para que very true. I um... saw the other day, bro, that there was a short about Team Hullet all saying, like most of them were saying Totti hero. Man, Totti is an icon, Totti is an icon, for sure. Novamente. He was so good. Like, I seen, from seeing his highlights, oh my god, man, he was ridiculously good. <laughs> How many did he play? 148, that's so many, wow. Jeez. That is ton. Alright, boys. Thanks for watching. Um, I wanted to check these out. These were awesome. Um, I think Footpin is going to keep posting these. So whenever there's a couple posted, we'll do we'll do a big reaction video and we'll watch a couple of them. Um, and thank you so much for the support in the video today, guys. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, I didn't want to talk over it too much, but a lot of knowledge, a lot of information, uh, a lot of cool stuff. These guys are all legends, man. Cafu, John, Bor John Barnes, and JRC. I'm working on it. I'm working on my pronunciations. All right, boys. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Love you guys.